Hi, Carrick here. If we're going to stop using gasoline in our cars and trucks, we're going to need another fuel that's affordable. Something good for the environment, made in this country, and we're going to need a lot of it. Today I'm in Jennings, Louisiana to visit a company called Vernium that thinks they have the answer. No kid has ever been allowed in here before, so come with me for an inside look. Our Renewable Nation, a cross-country eco-video adventure is brought to you in part by Greenfeet, the planet's home store, selling green living products online at greenfeet.com. Verenium makes fuel called cellulosic ethanol from plant materials. Most of what we pump into our cars today is gasoline, which is non-renewable and unsustainable. Verenium is working on ways to pull the sugar out from plant materials, using it to make cellulosic ethanol to power cars and trucks. They're using the plant leftovers from making sugar, called sugarcane bagasse, and also native plants, like switchgrass and sorghum. Let's take a walk through the process. Okay, we go down these stairs. Carrick, this is where the bagasse comes over the conveyor and comes into our washing area here. You can see down in there there's a little auger that travels it up to the conveyor until it drops into our screw press. The reason we have this... After the bagasse is washed, it goes into these big screw presses to squeeze out the water, then moved into a hydrolyzer, which puts it under extreme pressure. At the end, we release the pressure, so all the little particles kind of blow up, and they get, it releases all the little sugars in there, so then we can make ethanol out of those sugars that are blown up after the process. The mix is then put into more screw presses to squeeze out the liquid, which can be turned into ethanol. The leftover bagasse solids still have a lot of sugar that is trapped in the cell walls. That is the hard stuff to get to. Verenium has developed a way to pull out the sugar by using special microorganisms to break down the cell walls. Once they get the sugar, they convert it into cellulosic ethanol by a process called fermentation, which is a lot like how they make beer. Today, the gas we buy at the pump already has some ethanol, about 10% mixed in. Some cars and trucks can run on E85, which is mostly ethanol mixed with 15% gasoline. If you see a flex fuel badge on a car or truck like this one, it can run on either E85 or gasoline. So will plant-based fuels like cellulosic ethanol be the fuel of the future? Verenium is betting on it. It has taken years of testing and developing and millions of dollars to find out. But Verenium thinks that it finally has the answer. Thanks, Mike, for showing us around. Welcome, Carrick. I'm glad you got to visit us. Uh, next time you see this material, it might be in your car getting you down the highway. Okay, Carrick, this is our control room. This is where our technicians sit and they watch the process as we, it goes through all these processes we've been talking about. They have to uh, manage that with these screens. So they're looking at the flows and temperatures. They're checking uh, out for making sure the uh, mixers are all working and everything's flowing through the process. Do you have any video games on this thing? 